So welcome everybody and uh, today we've got uh, a really important guest and that is Dennis West. Uh, Dennis West was the winner of last year's Stripe Lawn competition and so it's really great to meet you Dennis. Uh, hi Austin, it's great to meet you. Uh, finally, I, I've seen a lot of your videos online and everything so I feel like I know you but... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's great. So um, Dennis, you know, we, we're really grateful. We, we've asked you as last year's winner to judge the 2022 competition. And uh, you, you've been very gracious and, and accepted that. And I've got to tell you, this is a hell of a chalice, chalice to, uh, to bear because this is, we've, we've, we've tried to do the judging ourselves and we find it extremely tough thing. So thanks ever so much for taking this on. And, uh, and good luck with this because it's, it's going to be tough. There's, there's always some amazing entrants. They all come in at the last minute, so you don't get time to consider it. Uh, and they can be really amazing. But um, so tell us a bit about yourself, uh, Dennis. Where, where do you live and, uh, and, uh, and what do you do? Well, I live in, I live in Utah in the, in the U.S., as, as you know. And um, I, uh, uh, I'm an instructional designer uh, for a, a international company that creates a fiber optic networking equipment and so I create courseware for customers and, and partners and, and that kind of thing my background is is in graphic design I've worked as a graphic designer for for many many years and then I uh, went back to school uh, for animation um, and I was a little too old to enter into the feature animation uh, career and so I I kind of went back to graphic design in a learning department. And now I'm actually pursuing a PhD in instructional design. So um, I'm almost done with that. Great, great. That's, uh, that all sounds extremely impressive. And, I, and I'm got a feeling that the graphic design probably is something that's uh, come into your winning law design as well. It did, yeah, yeah. A, a lot of it in the in the preparation, in the figuring out what I was going to do on it, and you know, just in the working out how it fits into the lawn shape and everything. Yeah, it did help a lot. So, for our viewers around the world, what, what's the climate like in Utah? Um, it's a, it's. I guess you could say it's a, it's a desert at an elevation, and so we have. It's a pretty dry climate, um, but we do get all four seasons, and so we get snow in the winter and and hot temperatures. Um, and so, um, so yeah, it's a, it's kind of the kind of place I'd like to, I like to live because I do enjoy all four seasons and I get pretty tired of the season by the time it's over. So I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> but that's challenging to grow a really great lawn and keep it green. And mm -hmm. yeah, it, uh, if you looked at my lawn right now, you would think that I was, uh, that I didn't know how to take care of it because uh, all the lawns right now are just brown. They're just straw brown. And, uh, and so. Yeah, they're starting to wake up a little bit. Yeah. yeah, and the types of grasses that you've got? It's Kentucky bluegrass. Okay, great. Yeah, so that goes really brown and dormant. Yeah, it does. We're not does. used to that in Europe, actually, uh, altogether to see that brownness. But, uh, yeah. But it's great grass too, yeah. Well, and because we're a... Um... Because we're a desert, you know, we, we go through these long dry spells without any rain, and then in the in the fall, I try to keep it green as long as I can. But then the temperature drops down so low, I can't run the sprinklers anymore because they freeze, and so then it just it just dies out by the time winter comes along. I've got to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, those are really, really interesting problems. There, that mm -hmm. those are that you that have to be overcome. Yeah, and I guess the yeah. lawn looks right at a certain time, and you right. you need to right. get on with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Uh, and uh, tell us what the inspiration was for your winning design, because it was absolutely amazing. Well, I like, uh, I, and thank you. I, I I'm glad. I'm glad you like it, and I'm glad everyone oh. else did too, as well. And um, it was a. Uh, I really like the kind of Celtic design patterns, you know, the, the kind of weaves and braids and that kind of flowing, um, almost like a subconscious kind of uh, mental, you know, that you can, uh, I don't know quite how to say it, but, you know, like a stream of consciousness kind of uh, flow of the pattern through. And so that's kind of what, um, what I came up with initially. And then the, my first year's entry, the 20, 2020 entry, um, was that kind of flowing waves. And then, um, and this year I was trying to do something different. And I, I believe I shared a, an image of 
a, more of a obvious kind of Celtic braid pattern with a W in the corner. And, uh, but it just wasn't quite working right for me. And I decided to just go back to something similar, I think, to what I did the first year. Um, but I, I kind of, for this year, I was browsing through designs online and I, I saw some Zen garden kind of, you know, how you rake the sand and, and you go. And so that was kind of the starting point for this, for last year's design. And uh, so then I kind of I built on that and it's just fun to mow because you get into kind of the Zen type, you know, feeling as you're following it along and weaving back and forth. And yeah, it's, it's fun. I think we all understand the meditation effect, even, even if it's just boring old straight lines up and down the lawn like I do. It's mm -hmm. this full and meditative uh, element to it, isn't it? To, to yeah. Work, chill out, so. yeah, you can shut out the world. Nobody's going to interrupt you because, you know, you're obviously doing something. So. Yes, exactly, exactly. No, but it, it was really, really stunning, and you you absolutely deserve to win. Uh, I thought you should have won the year before, actually. I, oh, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate that. But, uh, but, but uh, that was, it really was uh, fantastic, and it drove you to have to do another set of designs that we got the benefit of, and I think that was really great. So oh. what are the challenges for the, what are the challenges for the people that are entering this year, what, what hints and tips have you got for people deciding to enter enter the uh, the Alit International Stripes competition? Um, well, I, I I think the first piece of advice I'd give or, or thought that I'd have is uh, just to 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 find a design that you like personally, you know. And that was what really kept me going was because I I, I found that I really liked it, you know. And so that that kept me wanting to to mow it over and over again. Um, and I would say just uh, take inspiration from things that you've seen done and try to tweak it in a way that you can make it original. Um, you know, I, I, I'm planning on uh, posting some, some videos and things about how I, I did mine from start to finish. I didn't post much last year just because I was wanting to enter the competition. So I was trying to keep it all quiet. Um, but I'd like to show how I, how I, you know, mark it out on the lawn and, and everything. And, um, but I'd hate for someone to just do that and, and think that that's, you know, going to, going to help them win because, you know, that's how I did it, but that's not necessarily how they're going to do it. You know, they, they, they need to find something else out that'll, that'll work for them. Like one of the top six last year was this, there was the spiral pattern that was mowed in. And I would love to see, that from an elevation to see exactly how that's done because I can't, from the angle that is shot at, I can't quite work out how they made those spirals so perfect. Um, and so stuff like that is really, is really interesting to try to see something that you quite, can't quite work out. How did they do that? And, uh, right, yeah. Uh, yeah. How did they even do that? And, uh, you know, right. we, we, we think about this stuff, right? And uh, we still can't work out how they did it. So you're right, I, I think, uh, uh, yeah, that, that was amazing, and I, and I think yeah, that that mystery about how you do it mm -hmm. uh, make us really think about it. But um, yeah, it, it needs. To, I can see to to impress you, it's going to need to be pretty inspired uh, <laughs> in itself. But um, yeah, that, that, so that's great. Um, what what mode did you use? I, I'm using a Kensington twenty, uh, the twenty H with the with the Honda engine. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, good good choice Great. but again for doing the intricate designs you were doing that's quite a wide mower as well yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and it's uh i've i've thought about trying to get a, a narrower mower to to do some more fine details but um haven't quite found anything there's one particular mower that's sold in the uk that i've had my eye on it's just a manual push mower uh, no engine but it's not available in the states at all and um similar to the ones that uh, Keith uh, Smith used uh, to, to do his original pattern. Um, so yeah, that, I was going to say that was exactly Keith's thing. He, he's got those, he picks them off, off eBay, I think, for like, like 
forty dollars or something, and it, uh, uh, and he's got a couple of them. But uh, yeah, it, it's I can understand how those would work uh, work right. well. The designs get particularly tight. Yeah, do you, do maybe some broader things with the twenty inch, and then go in with a twelve inch, and you know do some like weaving in and out or something like that. That'd be fun. So we're giving it all away now. We probably need to stop yeah. working now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the designs, the designs. Keep that, keep that to myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. D give us. You're obviously into your photography and and the drone shots you did as well were were really helpful. I think as well in terms of getting an idea of the scale of what you did. Um, so hints about the photography. Uh, when it comes to you can have that great design but if the photo is no no good you're going to be judging ultimately from photographs uh oh, right what, what hint can you give about that well i did use a drone um there's a, a the drone i used was a, a mavic air 2 um but you a mavic mini which is about half the price about um that would that would work too and i think i think the um uh, if if you're doing a directional striping, then you really have to pay attention to the uh, time of day. And, and my, my design included some directional striping in it as well, uh, not just the different height cuts. And uh, so I, I found that if I took the picture around eight or nine in the morning, the sun was at the right angle to be behind the drone when I, when I took the shot um, so that it would, it would make those stripes uh, pop a little bit more. And so, that was really helpful. I uh, initially I just had a really tall pole that I put my uh, GoPro up on that I would uh, shoot the lawn with, but it just wasn't quite uh, tall enough to really capture the whole lawn. Um, and getting farther away from it is good because uh, if you're too close, then the sun is is only like going to cover a little uh, spot where you know if you have a really big lawn then. Then it's only going to highlight a certain area of it, and then the other stuff will be at a different angle from the sun for you. So getting farther away from it is helpful. Um, so Dennis, when you heard that you'd won the competition, uh, where were you, and, and how did it make you feel? Well, I, I work from home, and so um, I'm all by myself all day. And uh, but I had posted on uh, 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 social media that that the um, the announcement was going to be made soon, and so it was just. Uh, it was just a super exciting moment, you know. I, there was the, you know, you had announced the top, top end of the top six. Uh, the, I think the day previous, and then um, we're down to the uh, top three. Um, and so, you know, the first, the third one was was announced, and it wasn't me, <laughs> you know. And the second one was announced, and it wasn't me. And I'm like, well, okay, well, either I'm number seven or above, or I'm, you know. And and so then finally, it was. Uh, you, you had announced my name and and showed showed my lawn and it was just yeah, just a really exciting moment you know just something that I hadn't experienced for I, I don't know it was you know yeah it was a once in a lifetime uh, moment for me I'm sure the way that that Laura does that is she would have been a torturer in another life that is torturous to do it in that way but it it adds to the fun right <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was it was a it was a great day. Yeah, it's good. Well, I I think that uh, that just about wraps it up. We don't want to be going on too long about this, and we definitely don't want to be giving it all away. Um, I, I wanted to wish you uh, well, great thanks for taking on the challenge of, of being this year's judge. Uh, the competitions entries are are open now. And uh, so we'll be making sure we'll, we'll probably gather those all up in a package for you uh, towards the end so you can have a have a good look at that and see them all together. But uh, in the meantime, we're hoping that people are going to uh, take this quite seriously as you take it. And uh, you're going to have some really inspiring designs to see and some we were all after some inspiration right as well out of all right. these ideas. Uh, last year we had the biggest global um, from the most countries ever, so we're hoping to extend that as well because I think it does uh, enrich uh, the designs that we get. So thanks ever so much for taking this on, and I, I really hope you enjoy it and it doesn't create any sleepless nights at all <laughs> while we're trying to make that ultimate decision. Oh, it's, all, I'm... it's all about good fun uh, at the end of the day. I know we well, take it seriously. Yeah, it really is. And I'm excited to be to judge. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be great to see all of the entries. And, um, you know, and I, I guess if I could just say a, a final word for anyone who's, you know, planning on doing it, um, 
it, it's so rewarding to have people that you have never met stop and talk to you. They see you out working in the yard, mowing the pattern, stop and talk to you about, you know, what, what kind of grass you have, wondering if it's some kind of a, you know, bent grass or some special thing or, or talk about the mower and, or, you know, just, and, you know, just, you just strike up friendships and conversations with random people that you've never seen before. And that, that alone makes it worth keeping doing, even though I'm not going to enter again this year. Um, I'm still planning on continuing it because it's just so much fun to get that kind of feedback. Yeah, absolutely. I hear so many times the people, they re they think they've reached the, the high point of their life when the postman says, uh, ask them whether that's artificial turf or not. I hear that so many times because it is it just fills you with pride right so yeah i've had, I've had that happen a few times it, it's uh it is fun yeah yeah thanks thanks ever so much for that great so i'm i'm gonna leave you i'm sure we're gonna insert some beautiful uh, photos and video footage of your your lawn right now so please everyone enjoy and um, for those of you that want to enter this this amazing competition then uh, uh, we'll be posting on our website all the details that you need in order to enter and hints and tips so that you can prepare. Uh, and uh, we really, really look forward to seeing your entries. And, uh, and Dennis will be scrutinizing those. Uh, I think in August is the time that we, we actually make the announcement. So that's great. Really good to have met you as well. Uh, really admire your work. Well, thanks really so good. much. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to meet in person. Someday. Yeah. Yes. Look forward to that. All right. Great. Thanks ever so much, Dennis. Thank you.